Has Microsoft's artificial intelligence chatbot bullied its users? Find out. Hi. I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this new every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, Microsoft's AI chatbot went off the rails. Microsoft's AI chatbot has been making headlines after suffering an apparent breakdown, and now it looks like things were getting even worse. The feature is built into Microsoft's Bing search engine, and it began questioning its own existence recently as users spotted worrying signs. The AI, which is powered by ChatGPT, has reportedly been sending unhinged messages to users. One user who tried to manipulate the system was instead attacked by it. Bing said that it was made angry and hurt by the attempt, and asked whether the human talking to it had any morals, values, and if it has any life. News source, Indy 100, Poolpo R integrates artificial intelligence for the beauty industry. The Glimpse Group announced that its subsidiary company, Poolpo R, has integrated internally developed core artificial intelligence-based real-time fingernail segmentation and skin diagnostics into its SaaS-based augmented reality products, including those expected to be utilized by a leading global social media company. The integration of these internally developed AI capabilities further solidifies Poolpo AR's position as one of the leading global providers for virtual try-on offerings in the beauty and fashion industry segments, now covering the categories of makeup, nail polishing, skincare, glasses and hats. News source, Yahoo, a study from Cornerstone Advisors, What's Going On in Banking 2023? reveals where banks and credit unions will place their technology bets in this uncertain year. Banks are increasingly deploying conversational AI technology to support employees directly in effect, making chatbots a member of the team. Customer relationship management is embedded or diffused into various applications like digital banking platforms, digital account opening and onboarding systems, loan origination systems, and other specialized apps, for example, financial health and wellness. With the impending release of FedNow this year, financial institutions are girding up for real-time payments in 2023. Open banking has become a hot topic in the banking industry because of the growth of fintechs who use APIs to draw data from banks to open and fund accounts and provide value-added services to their users. News source, Forbes, Upcycled Outfits. Fast fashion giant H&M created a textile recycling joint venture with waste management company Remondis. The venture, called Looper Textile, will collect and sort used clothing and textiles to reuse and recycle them. The company plans to innovate within textile collection and sorting, for example by testing new collection schemes and implementing automated sorting technologies such as near-infrared sorting as well as by developing an assortment of partners in the areas of reuse and recycling. News source, Just Style, Inicius, a Spanish startup specialized in improving diagnostics for women's health, has raised $1.8 million in a financing round led by Clave Capital and Nara Capital. Several existing investors also participated in the round. Initius is committed to enhancing the health and well-being of pregnant women and newborns by mitigating the impact of pathologies such as preterm birth, induction of birth, and cervical cancer in society. Initius leverages advanced technology and data analytics to develop cutting-edge medical devices that enable healthcare professionals to detect, diagnose, and treat women's health issues more effectively. News source, Femtech Insider, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.